Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. First of all, we'd like to thank you all for the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you definitely help us do that. So thank you. Now, back to the video. Are you struggling with your sexual identity? Do you think you may be asexual? Trying to figure out what your sexual orientation may be, especially when you're growing up, can be a daunting and frustrating experience. You may feel uncertain, afraid, and even overwhelmed when you approach the subject or read up on the topic. So to help you out, here are six signs on what it means to be asexual. Before we begin, we would like to note that everyone expresses their sexual orientation differently. Some may identify with all or some of the signs we mention. Others may relate to a few or none that we've listed. Our list is not definitive, but are only some of the key aspects we've chosen. Number one, the lack of sexual attraction. Are your romantic relationships based on sexual attraction? Asexuality refers to a lack of or low level of sexual attraction to others. So instead of sexual attraction, asexuals are more likely to experience other forms of attraction, like platonic, romantic, and so on. More on that later. However, some asexuals do experience sexual attraction sometimes. Demisexual, for example, is a type of asexuality. If you'd like to know more about demisexuality, you can check out the video we've made on that topic too. Number two, asexuals could crave relationships just without the sexual element. While some asexuals don't experience any sexual attraction, that doesn't mean they can't experience other forms of attraction, which include romantic attraction, the desire to have a romantic relationship with someone, aesthetic attraction, the attraction towards someone based on how they look, sensual or physical attraction, the desire to touch, hold, or cuddle someone, platonic attraction, the desire to be friends with someone, and emotional attraction, the desire to have an emotional connection with someone. Number three, they get over crushes easily. Are your crushes short-lived? Sometimes asexuals may put an end to their relationships with another person when the relationship becomes too intimate. They value more romantic or physical attractions over sexual attraction. So if these values don't align or agree with their crush's values, then they're likely to let go early on in the relationship. Number four, not having any celebrity crushes. Speaking of crushes, have you ever had a celebrity crush ever in your life? If you haven't, that's totally okay. In fact, a lot of us have aesthetic attractions towards celebrities based on how they present themselves, whether on the red carpet or in movies and TV. So while asexuals may have a preference to which celebrity they like or admire, it's unlikely that their preference is based on a sexual attraction to them. Number five, some asexuals may only experience sexual attraction in certain circumstances. Asexuality has a wide spectrum. Some may only experience sexual attraction in very limited circumstances, while some may experience none at all. For example, people who are demisexual, which falls under the asexual umbrella, experience sexual attraction only when they have a deep connection to a person. This means they might only feel sexually attracted to people they have deep romantic relationships with. And number six, sex depends. Is sex a must for your relationships? Most asexuals often don't need sex to satisfy themselves over the course of their lifetime. They may feel that there's an abundance of activities and events waiting for them to enjoy, other than focusing on intimate relationships. However, some may want sex due to hopes of conceiving children, to satisfy their libido, or to feel physically close with their partner. Did this video help you learn more about asexuality? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.